Hi guys, I'm Karan Singh and in this short video we will talk about MongoDB chain streams. We will also see implementation in Golang. Let's get started. MongoDB chain stream is a feature of MongoDB database such that if there is a new change or if there is a change in the database collection or document, the MongoDB database will provide you an event which your application can listen to and do necessary workflows if required. So what a change looks like is maybe you know you are building a real-time stock market trading application or maybe an IoT application such that if there is a new update to a stock market uh, a stock you can have your application listen to that event and take appropriate decisions or maybe in case of an IoT example or IoT use case, suppose you're building a temperature sensor application such that if there is a new sense, uh, a new temperature recording has been done by your gadget and the database has been updated with this, you can trigger or you can make your application listen to that change, right? This is my blog post which in which I've described in detail how MongoDB, what is MongoDB chain stream and how does it look like and how, how it works. So let me go back and show you how this is implemented in Golang. So before we do that, let's take a quick tour of uh, MongoDB Atlas database. So you can go and create up your free developer account or a free uh, launch a free database on MongoDB Atlas site. So I have created one for the sake of this demo. Uh, we do not have any a database or a collection yet. We will create one. Uh, the code base for that I'm using in this demonstration would be provided to you in the in the description below. Here's the here's the code base which I would be using for the demo today. Let me walk you through the code. So it's a simple Golang file in which initially I am this I am defining some uh, some struct that we'll be using later on, which talks about the document key, the operation operation type that we will receive from MongoDB event. Uh, we will uh, also set um, the results, the output structure in which I have a simple a simple collection in which we are capturing user ID, device type and game state. And uh, we will receive the values or the change values in this in this struct. This is a method that we that will be called if there is a new change into the system or maybe you know this is the method which will be called every time and under this method we will design or we will define how the change should be uh, should be used right so uh, so we just you know uh, using mongodb uh, uh, mongodb driver uh, in this golang and we are re receiving the event from from mongodb and adding some logic like hey if there is a new insertion or update or a delete operation how should this application should perform and then once we have the record id or uh, the object id in terms of mongodb we will fetch the entire entire data or entire document uh, that has been updated uh, this is the standard main function in uh, in golang where we are connecting to the database and then uh, we are setting up the name of our database and the name of the collection which on which we would be listening for all the changes and then we are simply continuously running this application using using goes uh, um, uh, goes method and uh, we are also doing for simulation purpose we are also inserting new records every five seconds into the collection which which looks like this we are just simply randomly adding a device type and a game state into the database in every five seconds so this is a basic basic Golang file which talks about how this is implemented, right? Let me go back and and show you how this looks like in uh, in real world. So at the moment, uh, let me arrange this. So we do not have any any collection yet. I'm going to run my Golang app, which will which will kind of uh, create a collection and start. A listening to that collection and if there is a new change into the database the database will 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 tell me or the event will 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 get triggered and uh, my i would be notified about about the change so look at this one so we are continuously ingesting new data into the collection and uh, this little go program is detecting any change happening to the database in real time 
so we are continuously updating updating the database and the change stream is telling me there's a new insert operation going on at the moment into the database so let me go and real quick and do some uh, some update update to the database i'll go to the ui i'll refresh to my uh, mongodb atlas ui i should see a new collection which is called as change stream collection i'll go to my uh, bike factory uh, collection and we are continuously getting records so let me go and edit this right let me test you the edit edit option so let's say tablet is uh, ipad right as soon as i update this entry here i should get an event so update coming back to this and you can see this update operation detected and uh, the device type was ipad right let me show you one more for example let, let, let refresh this one and uh, we will we will update let's say this entry or maybe maybe this entry right i'll say you paused let me change this to uh, um, ongoing right and i'll save this come back and see there's a new update operation detected by the event and uh, the game state is ongoing right this also works in case of delete so let me go and delete one of these entries let me do and delete it okay deleted the delete operation is detected however we are unable to pull the changes because you know the data there is no data uh, which is available at the moment uh, to to pull out and uh, since we are continuously ingesting into the database we are continuously getting this event from this event listener so this is a short demo about showing you and telling you what is the mongodb chain stream is and how can you implement this in golang it's a pretty good use case guys in my in my opinion you could kind of build real time applications without without using kind of a pop sub or a, or a, or a you know a queue mechanism or maybe you know a kafka kafka service uh, right so it's pretty great technology and a pretty great feature from mongodb and i think uh, uh, this has a lot of potential to be used um, in software development all right so that's all for today and uh, see you around in the next video cheers